Welcome to part four of the Humber Hybrid series, Audio Considerations. You've got your computer, you know all about network connections, and you understand proper etiquette for hosting and attending a hybrid meeting. Now let's talk about the audio, which is twofold. You need to be heard by others, and others need to hear you. First, consider the room you are in. Even though it may sound quiet, the larger the room and number of hard surfaces, the more the sound will echo and reflect. Try to be in a small room with low ceiling, carpeted flooring, furniture, and avoid bare walls if possible to quiet the natural reverberance of your environment. Almost all laptops come with a built-in microphone, but ideally, you want to have a microphone that is close to your mouth, like a headset mic or a microphone on a stand next to you. The last thing you want is for participants to only catch every second word or so of what you're saying. Sales are down. You are fired. You are to pack your things and leave. Could you repeat that, please? I don't think we heard you correctly. I said, congratulations. Sales are downright great. You hopefully are all fired up. You are going to Hawaii. Pack your swimsuits and things and leave. If you are connecting a microphone or headset to your laptop, familiarize yourself with the laptop's sound properties. Most computers will automatically connect your wireless device, but it is important to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and that the right device is selected for input and output of audio from the correct source. As a reminder, if you are not presenting during a meeting, mute yourself so that there are no distracting sounds for others. But always remember to unmute yourself before you ask a question or contribute to the meeting. Hey, you're on mute. Oh, thank you. If you need help, you can always contact the support center via chat at humber.ca slash techtalk. Thanks for watching this episode of Humber Hybrid.